Girl, I'm here to stay uh. If you stay at the end of time My love go there uh. Take it away, take it away It's a story time, not a makeup tutorial Act right My bad, my bad, my bad Now let's get right to this Welcome back, my beautiful people. It's your girl, Take Away Oh, and I know it's been a very, very long time. Trust me, I know. I had exams, had to take a break, had to get a little breather, and so I'm going to give you guys a story time today. But just bear with me. If my audio sounds really bad, it's because my smart self decided to let my battery for my mic like stay on and it's been on like I have two mics I have this mic and then I have the road mic but I use the road mic more because I like that one better and it's like better quality so with this mic um I'm gonna get to the story in a minute I'm just gonna give you guys a little like small detail I left this on and it's been in my camera bag for like months and months now so I guess I have drained the battery and I need to get a new battery so if my if you hear sounds in the background I'm sorry bear with me like <laughs> bear with me so my story time is about how my auntie so my aunt so it was a so it was this very beautiful set of day my, my aunt was around and she's very good at braiding hair right so my mom was like why why not have her braid your hair instead of going to your hairdresser to braid your hair we can save money for this week because I usually get my hair done every two weeks I was living the life <laughs> but back to the story so I was like okay cool like let my auntie braid my hair it'll be fun she started braiding my hair and not even like one break and I'm already crying like I'm bawling because like it hurts like you know so there's some hairdressers there eh? you be wondering if they're punishing you like what are they taking out of position on, the, on your head like I don't understand why your hand hurts so much like why are you yanking my hair yanking it like as if you are I don't know what like going to want to it with my head I don't understand so she was just like it was just so painful so I was crying I was crying I was crying my mom was like you know what I'm done I'm done go on with your hairdresser let your hairdresser plate, plate your hair for you because you're used to her doing it. I'm like, cool. I was happy. I was going like, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, I mean, I'm gonna get my hair done regardless. So I was happy. So I went and get my hair done. I was having, I was having like, I mean, it was nice. Like, I'm used to her. So on my way back, this is when the story gets juicy. On my way back, I saw my siblings like in the car driving out, and I'm wondering like, where are they going? Like, where are they going? Why am I not invited? And I mean, I want to know. Like, I'm just curious, like, what's going on? And I remember, like, they saw me, like, coming back. They're like, "Oh, your hair looks so good. Take off your hair. Looks so fine. Um, it's lovely. Like, your hair is da da da. Just like throwing me all those sweet nothings and making me feel like, okay, I look good and all that stuff. So I'm like, okay, your girl look good. If I'm looking, I'm trying to make sure I'm in focus because my camera thing can be acting crazy sometimes. They're like, your hair looks good, your hair looks good, whatever. So I was like, where are you guys going? They're like, oh, nothing. We're just going to run some errands. Offense number one. They lied. They told me they're going to run some errands. My job, I'm thinking, like, if you're just running errands, I don't really care. Like, I know, like, my sister, when she was small, like, if you are going out, she wants to tell the car with you. But me, I'm more like, you're just running errands. Nothing, it's nothing like, they need no special groove. I'm not missing it. I'm not missing out on any special groove. Like, I'm okay. Like, go ahead and run your errands. Only way for, get, only for me to get home inside my house, like, mind you, like, so it's like, I, I, like when they saw me like we were in like the the street that leads to my house so it's like it was just a, I was just a few steps away from entering my our family compound in worry worry <laughs> so yeah I entered my house and then I saw my dad and he had this and so I'm like oh dad how are you doing I could tell him everything and, and his guests were greeting me too they were like ah oh, your hair is so fine I'm like thank you thank you I was feeling myself and everything only for me to come back I was like Somebody, I think it was like my dad did not even say it. It was the guest. They were like, ah, take it away. Why didn't you follow your siblings to the pool? I'm like, eh, eh. You say, come again. Follow them to the, follow them to where? To where? And they're like to the pool. And I'm like, but they told me I'm going to run errands. They didn't tell me I'm going to the pool. Ah, this one betray us a bit. My own siblings. My own flesh and blood. They lied to my face, straight to my face, and they completed my stupid hair. Yes, whatever, the hair was still whatever. Oh, is that so? And they, they still lied to my face and told me they're going to run errands. Did they run errands for who? 
I mean, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. I was like, Uncle, what do you mean they went to the post? Like, yeah, your brother, Gare, Uvie, Omas, Ovos, and some of our cousins we had around with us too, they all went to the pool. And my dad worked in Shell, so it's like, there was like, in Worry, there was this, um, there was this uh, share club, house, what they call it. He used to do summer camp there. So anybody that attended Shell summer camp, <laughs> shout out to you. You get old, get married. But um, uh, yeah, so we had this pool there. We used to go there for fun. And I loved to go there. I couldn't swim to save my life, but I loved to go there. So my uncle was like, why don't you follow them? And I'm like, I did not know. Just like, I started to cry. I was not like, ah, ah. And it was not like, ah, ah. And I was like, it's okay, it's okay, so it's okay. I was so upset. I felt so betrayed because it's not like, okay, my hair was the thing that kept them from going without me because I met them on their way out. If they want to the pool, can you just say, okay, take it away. Let me just wait for you. Go and bring your swimming pool um, uh, trunk and then we'll get in the car and we'll go. No, they looked me in my face and said, we're going to run errands. And then they're running the errands in the pool. Do you know Do you know how painful that is? Like, it's just a few steps to just go to the room. And I knew exactly, I keep my swimming trunk in, exact, in a particular place because I know that we don't go swimming every day. No, I cannot swim, but I like to play in the pool. We don't go swimming every day. So I knew that, okay, if we're going to the pool, I'm not, I'm not going to wait for them to change my or change story. I will just grab, 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 my suit, grab my swimming trunk and then enter the car. But these people, I call my brothers and sisters, not even brothers and sisters in the Lord, brothers and sisters, flesh and blood. They looked me in my eye and said they're going to run errands. Eh, God. That's what they said. Yeah, because I was like, why would they do that to me? Because they knew I would, they know, everybody knows that Tigger will go to the pool. Like anything, pool, anything, grow, anything, like, let's go and flex and chop life. I'm, I'm there. But they're just like, they just, it's like, they lied straight to my face. Like, you don't know how. You don't even know how hurtful that is. Like when I think about it today, like sometimes I still get so angry. Like I'm like, I don't like y'all. I'm like, but I'm the only child. This one's the only child. But back to the story. I was bawling in my room, crying. My dad had to come to the room and like pet me. And it's like, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, tomorrow I'll take you out. That's a lie. That's a lie. Every African parent tells you. Don't worry, tomorrow. Tomorrow will come and it'll be a different story. And mind you, it was a Sunday. So tomorrow was a Monday. There's no way my parents would take me to the pool when it's a school 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 week. Say what's happen. So it's like tomorrow I'll take you. I was not I was not even here because I know that those ones are just promise and fake. We're not buying any biscuits, but me capri son. Not nothing he did. Nothing. You know, I was like, don't worry, what do you want? He bought me my favorite biscuits, which is short bread, by the way. It is upside down. Which is Shortbread. I love the snack. If you want me to love you and you know I hate you, I'm buying you with kids. The, the hate can't come to love. I'm just joking. I don't hate anybody. And then Caprison. Caprison. These two things right here. Eh? Gege. Gege. This is the way to my heart. Any, any shot, anything for the way to my heart. So he bought me my favorite drinks and my favorite snack. I'm gonna drink my drink right now because it's like, what's, what's the point of telling the story time without a little sip of the caprison? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know my siblings are lied to me, but then, do you, do you, do you, like, as you're watching this thing, tell me, do you understand the pain I was going through? Like, you are looking it in my face and you are telling me you're running errands. It's just, it just takes me, what, one minute or two to go and bring my swim truck. And then pulling inside the car. And then the car was filled up, oh, there was space. It was not after I, I got to my room and I started thinking, I was like, why did they do this to me? Why did they do that to me? Things were not click. You no, know, like when something happened, you know, like everything starts to fall into place, like, oh, oh, that's why that, that's what that's why that happened. That's why that happened. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I was not thinking, I was not like my brother of us who almost like let it sleep that they're going to the pool. But I remember that somebody like 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 nudged him into like Keep quiet, keep quiet, she will cry, she will cry. So I not kept quiet. And it's like, I'm not like, oh, I'm like, oh, that's why I always didn't want to say anything. That's why I was not acting somehow. So okay. So to make everything even worse, when they came home, they did not even like, and they all they all avoided because they knew that, ha, I was ready, I was ready for them. Ganga, I was ready. Then the one that made it was, was my brother, I was he not came to meet me. And I said, take care. Guess what? We had so much fun in the pool today. This is this little boss. Take it away. We had so much fun in the pool today. I was looking at him like, are you normal? Like, why? Why are you telling me about how you had so much fun at the pool? When you looked me in my eye 
and told me that you're not going to any pool, you're going to run errands. Eh? Out of all people, out of all people, this is how I felt. I wanted to choke the living life out of him because I was so angry. Like when I looked at my brother, he was like, he has so much food at the pond today. The kind of stuff I wanted to give to him, eh? But it's something like this. The thing goes. That's exactly how I felt like slapping him. But you know, as a good child, and the fact that he's older than me, and you have to respect your elders, I could not slap him. When I think about it now, I'm still angry. Like, okay, okay, all you could have just said was just take away, go and bring your swim truck, let's go. They were like, oh no, it's not like we don't want to take you. It's because you were crying too much, and your hair, you have to do your hair because tomorrow is, tomorrow is school. I really want you to now go out and have fun and your hair is not done and you now go to school looking on cat. Excuse. Oh shit, clap for yourself. No sense. They betrayed my trust. I won't come again because like he made me angry because he promised me swimming pool tomorrow. It has been how many years now? Let's say it's been 15 years later and I'm not going to swimming pool. It's not taking me to swimming pool. Let me even call him. I let him know. Everybody know how angry I am today because, eh? I'm just so angry. What is it? I'm calling my dad. He better answer. Hello? Hello, daddy. Huh? Mingo. Where Daddy, I'm angry. Oh. You don't send me to the swimming pool. You promised me to swimming pool one time, like long, one time like that in Nigeria. You don't come to the swimming pool at all. You are easy. When you are at work. And daddy. Daddy. Okay, please leave me alone. Uh-uh. I'll talk to you when I come home. Okay. Okay, that was a bad one. That's the end of my story time. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. It was a short and quick one. And I'm really hot from doing all of that. I feel like that was just extra. But if you liked it, don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let everybody go. Okay, okay, okay. Let them know come to practice. So don't let your let your friends know to come subscribe to your girl's channel. And without further ado, see you in my next video.